So see this screen right here? You don't need to have a dedicated screen to extend your Modix or Montage. I'm going to show you today how you can get your Montage or Modix screen to extend onto the computer screen that you're already using right now. Let's go take a look. With the addition of this little tiny device, it's a little capture card. Here's the, the box that it comes in. Uh, I'm going to put the link for this in the description below so you can easily get it. I think it's about 20 bucks. Very cheap. There's another YouTuber who is suggesting a very expensive capture card. I think it's like $400. This one's 20 and it does exactly the same thing. I had the $400 one as well. I tried both of them and this does exactly the same thing. So uh, I'm going to show you how to put, plug all these up and how to plug your Montage in, or your Modi X into it and we're going to get it onto any computer screen. Now you won't have touch capability. Even I have a touch screen here. Uh, the touch screen capability doesn't come through with this. So it's, it's basically extending the screen so you can see it. You'll be able to view it in a much bigger aspect, which is the whole reason why you would want to extend a screen. Some of the reasons for extending the screen is to have it easier to see whether you're, uh, you, you might have eyesight problems or you might just want to not bend over the, the Montage or Modi X to do all your editing, which is the reason why I, I would want something like this. Uh, hunched over this screen, even though it is a pretty big screen, hunched over it can, uh, when, you're, when you're sound designing, can take a very long time. Uh, and it, you, can, you can get um, you know, neck cramps and things. Extending the screen allows you to have a heads up display. So let's get into how we're gonna pl plug all these together and very quickly get a nice extended screen. Here are the parts that you're gonna need here. I got the boxes out so you can see what to get. This pluggable display adapter, this has been featured in a couple of the other Modi X extended screen videos and uh, that's what that one looks like. And then here's the other one here. This is the actual video capture card that we're gonna be using today. This is the $20 piece that uh, will get the signal into the USB slot on your computer that you're using right now. Here's what the pieces look like. Display link, display adapter right here. And this is the uh, capture card. So look how tiny that is. I mean, and it's, it's amazing with the, what they've stuffed into this little thing. So let's get this all hooked up so that we can see how to get this into the computer. You're gonna need a HDMI cable, the regular size HDMI plugs on each end. And you're gonna need a USB cable. It comes with this. When you get the display adapter, it'll come with this cable right here. But uh, you've gotta get something that fits in the, the back of that. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our USB to device in the back of the Modi X or Montage. And then, get that, and it goes into the end here on the display adapter. So from the Modi X into the display adapter, see it lights up, it's getting the signal, and we're gonna get our HDMI cable, use the HDMI adapter that's in there, and we're gonna get one end of the HDMI cable, put it in there, very simple, and then the other end of that cable will go into the back of the capture card. There. What I'm going to do is plug this into an open USB slot in my computer, and then I'm going to show you how to get the screen to come out using either PC or Mac. So let's get this into the back. Okay, so that's in the computer. And now, what I want to do next is if your computer comes with screen capture software, then you would open that up and be able to find your screen that way. I like to use OBS. OBS is a free uh, video capture and streaming software. I'll put the link to that in the description. I have OBS open here, and I'm gonna share my screen right now. There it is. Okay, so I just had to uh, unplug it and plug it in and turn it off and turn it on. 
But one of the techniques here is, see down here, defaults. You keep hitting that and it'll find the signal again. Now you can play with this resolution. There's a black bar on the bottom here, but you get your screen. Uh, right down here, resolution uh, type, put custom, and then resolution, I was thinking 800. Yeah, 800 by 600 has been working for me. So hit OK. And uh, there you have your screen. Now, I have it set up for the uh, live stream, but what you can do is you have your little screen here, right click it, and down here, right down here on the bottom of this pop up list, windowed projector source. And then you can take it and you can move it around and do anything you want. Now you have your own window that you can size and uh, move around and, and if you have a secondary screen, you can shoot it over that screen, but there you go. You have your, and look how big I can put this in, and let's, let's just go around and, yeah, see, there it is. The screen is working and projecting to the extended screen. And here are all the uh, live sets I have here. Um, go to home, play something. Nothing comes out of this one because it's everything's muted. But um, that is the general idea. So there you go. You have a way to put your screen from your Montauk Tadra Modiex onto your computer and you don't have to get another screen. You, you do have to uh, download OBS or use your computer screen capture in order to, to get this screen. If but you'd like to have any other in-depth tutorial on how to do something like this, just let me know in the comments and I'll make another video to follow up. But uh, you get the general idea. Uh, just with a couple of these couple of these devices here and the cables that I've used, you can get your Modi X to extend onto the computer screen that you already have. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.